Jean shopping literally brings out the worst of me. Hello everyone, my name is Emily. Today we are gonna talk about how your jeans should fit and where to get them from and how much I paid for my favorite ones. So we're gonna make this nice and quick. I used to be someone who hated jeans. Hated it. Like literally, it was the bane of my existence. I was like, oh, I have to dress up a little bit, gonna wear some jeans, hated it. For, how old am I? For 24 years of my life, yeah, for 24 years of my life, I wore jeans I did not enjoy. But then I discovered how they should fit properly. And my life has not been the same since. So I wanna share what I know with you so that if you are also a jean hater or hate jeans, maybe we can find you some that you like. So, like I said, we have a nice stack here ready. We're gonna first start off with what not to look for in jeans. And then we're gonna go to what to look for and I'll tell you where I get my favorite pairs and how much they cost me. So let's do it. I will note by the end of this video, I might be sweaty and gross because trying on jeans just brings out the worst in me. No matter what, I don't know what it is. So on to the first pair. All right, see you in a sec. My eyes were literally on the first pair of jeans and I'm already sweating. I'm gonna get a nice feel of you. As you can see, these are suffocating my legs. There's minimal room here for food and a girl's gotta eat. These are definitely an older pair. That's better? That's better, that's better. Look how skin tight these are. To each their own, I grew up when skinny jeans are in, and maybe that's plays into part why I don't like jeans, but I can barely move. These are suffocating my calves. Tau tau not recommend. I'm sweating already. Wanna make sure your jeans have some space to eat, because you gotta eat. They aren't suffocating your body. You can sit in them and move in them comfortably. Upstairs neighbor behavior. All right. Let's do the next one. Oh okay, I haven't worn this pair. I haven't worn this pair in like, probably a couple of years, honestly. I don't hate them as much as I thought I would. Like, they fit pretty nice in the waist. The only thing is they're pretty, they're not as loose as I would like. I don't want anything touching my thighs, you know? I forgot to note, the first pair is from Gap, if you'd like to know. This is, I think I got these from TJ Maxx. They're a brand called Abound. Once again, you can see like, thighs aren't loving this. I like how they're straighter leg, but we can do better, you know? We can do a lot better. So these are what not to look for in jeans. Jeans that are suffocating you, jeans that don't leave space for eating, jeans that just don't make you happy. So let me show you how jeans should fit you. I'm gonna start off with these. Okay, the only pair of skinny jeans I own that I don't hate. As you can see, they fit the waist. This is so important. Check this, guys. We don't want a big gap here. They fit the butt, and they fit the thighs. They aren't suffocating me. Skinny jeans. I got these, I think, from Nordstrom, maybe. I got these, I think they're, they were a little bit pricier. I think like $45, $50. But at the time when I bought them, I was like, wow, I've never had a pant fit me so perfectly in the waist, butt, and hips. Also, I will note they used to be a lot more black than this. Does anyone else's black jeans, like, they look perfect for like a couple wears and then they just like completely wash out? I even like don't put mine in the dryer. I just wash it on gentle. 
what's a girl gotta do to keep some solid black jeans? But as you can see, these are fitting well. This is how they should fit. And there's room for activity, okay, eating. It's flexible and it's great. Love it. Let's move on. The next pair. Oh man, we're starting to get baggy, you guys. Okay, so these are from TJ Maxx. They're the brand Kenzie. Look at this. Look how well the waist fits. There's none of that extra space back there. The butt fits well. Hips fit well. We're starting to get that straight leg. I love this detailing. Can you even see it? Let me see if I can balance. <laughs> Don't look, I haven't shaped my legs. Who cares? Who has hair? Oh my gosh. Do you see this little detailing? I will note this sometimes gets stuck on stuff and I have to cut it, but that's fine. But we're starting to have like the more straight leg. They're not suffocating my legs, which is great. They fit nice. They, they're stretchy. They're not like jeggings. I don't like, I'm not into that. But they have some give to them, which is nice. And I think they were $15, $20 from TJ Maxx. It's like, I will note this next one means so much to me. This was the first pair of pant I bought where I was like, jeans don't have to suck. What? I bought these in 2022 in a mall in West Lafayette or Lafayette. Is it West Lafayette or Lafayette? I don't know. These jeans changed my life. I'm excited to talk about it. Let's get into it. These, I'm in love with. Like, so we fit on the waist. None of that extra annoying space thing. They're like just loose enough that I can eat a lot. Yes. They're like, Loose enough on the thighs where we got some room here to start for moving around. And then look how cute the bottoms are. And we have a little hole for air circulation, you guys. I love these jeans so much. Oh my gosh, I forgot to tuck in my pockets. Mom, don't look. You'd be disappointed. I got these for $10 from Hollister. Shop in the sales rack. Oh my gosh, I literally was like, these? For $10? You're kidding, you're kidding. I love these Hollister pull through. On to the next. We want a little fun. Dichromatic? Dichromatic? Why am I struggling with the word? The moment. A little capri moment. Cute. I got these from Hollister. They were also $10 in the sales section, you guys. They have some great things in sales. That's where I live. Look how cute they are though. Also, once again, we're fitting at the waist. That is a common theme, people. It's gotta fit in the waist. You don't want that gap. You don't want it squeezing you so much that you can't breathe or eat. You don't want your butt to be smushed in. You don't want it to be flat. You don't want your thighs to not be able to breathe. Comfort, you can be comfortable in jeans, crazily enough. All right. Are they so cute though? Okay, we got two more. This is, one of sort of my most recent addition to the collection, so let's get into it. This is for the girlies whose parents ask them, why do you have holes in your jeans? Or your grandparents ask you, why do you have holes in your jeans? Now I don't have holes in my jeans. These jeans, just look at them. I'm a star. Look at the waist. And there's like, see like, there's some give, but it's 
not, I know, well, you don't want the huge gap where people can stare down your crack. There are creepy people, people out there, protect yourselves. It's nicely in the butt and then it's barely touching my thighs. Oh my God. A girl's dream. I will note, these are also from Hollister. No, Hollister is not sponsoring this video. I just found that their style of jean fits me incredibly well. All brands and styles fit differently, which is so annoying. Oh my gosh. I like really struggle to find jeans that fit my waist well, my butt, and my thighs, and the length of my legs, because I have short legs. Fun fact, did you know, both my parents, my sister and I all have the same length length legs, yes, from the hip down. All four of us, there's probably five inches of difference between all of us, and we all have the same length legs. Yep, like I have found that Hollister jeans fit me pretty, like the best. My sister shops at American Eagle, those tend to fit her frame the best. You just gotta find the store and brand that fits, has like your body type down with the style. And it's so annoying because like you don't know how they differ really. So I challenge, I know it sucks, but to try out different stores and different brands. And sometimes even like, like with Hollister, I found those jeans I was talking about like two years ago that fit perfectly. I went back a year later and none of those jeans fit me. And I was like, what the heck? I literally just bought jeans from here, like similar style from in their, under their brand and now they no longer fit. What's that about? So be patient, but the right gene is out there. You just gotta find where, essentially. We have one last pair and then we'll wrap it up. Oh, I forgot to note, these were a little bit more of a splurge. I think they were $35, $40, but I've come to the place in my life where I'm like, if a gene fits me well, I'll probably justify paying a little bit more on it just because I have gone decades of wearing jeans that, decades, two, of wearing jeans that don't fit me well and I don't feel great. And I'd literally be like on the ground in my middle school gym locker room trying to pull my jeans off my calves because my calves are so big, the Lupino things slash runner things. And I'd be like, oh my gosh, I'm suffocating my legs. And now I'm like wearing clothes that you feel good in and fit well. I feel like it's very negotiable to splurge a little bit there. Cause I know you're probably sick of this. Clothes are built to fit you. You weren't built to clothe. Oh my gosh, you weren't built to fit into clothes. So don't wear, buy clothes that you're gonna lose weight and then they'll fit. Don't buy clothes that you're like, oh, I'm gonna wait until I like how my arms look better and I'm gonna buy that. No. When you set those expectations, it's very much like you're stealing joy from yourself that like you could be experiencing now. So like buy the size that fits now and own it. I know that's a lot easier said than done, but like I, I myself am victim to this. I own clothes that I like bought many, many years ago and I'm like, I'm gonna wear that when I lose weight. And did I ever wear it? No, because I never felt confident enough or good enough to wear it, even though like I didn't need to change my body to be able to wear it. It was that psychological component that was building that barrier for me that I had that unrealistic expectation for myself that I didn't like my body that I was in. None of that here. Let's do the last one. Here we go. There she is. Look at them. Okay, so once again, the waist is fitting. There's a little bit of room here, there, but not enough room that someone can stare down my butt. Great, the butt. It's nice and comfy. It's not getting squished and the thighs are not being suffocated. Look how baggy these are, you guys. Me, am I tall enough? Oh, my tip chest, can you see it? Can you see it now? 
All right, these last pair, these are from Hollister again. I think these are also around $35, $40. Once again, I bought these with those other ones. And I will note, funny enough, they're the same exact style, same exact size, but they fit a little bit differently and it's solely based off of the wash and the material of the jeans. So women's sizes and clothing is so frustrating so like if you feel like things aren't fitting correctly even though like this is what you normally wear or like you literally just tried on the same exact clothing item just in different color you're not crazy it's just so annoying how different they are but that's how your jean oh my gosh i keep forgetting to tuck in my pockets ah. that's how your jeans should fit you don't have to wear clothes that aren't comfortable especially jeans like jeans suck until you find ones that you love i found that like baggier jeans that are minimally touching my body work the best for me because i don't want to feel that i don't want to feel restricted you know something that i forgot i think it was a family member taught me i want you to remember this you don't take anything away from this besides this last part this is it if a clothing item and this can probably go for more than clothes honestly the clothing item is not a hell yes then it's a hell no like if you don't love it and you aren't willing to pay for like you're like oh maybe i'd only get it if it was on sale or maybe i only get it if someone gave it to me like no if you love it so much and it brought you so much joy cue marie kondo's little ding when you <laughs> put it on or touch it it has to be no like i well, no, I typically go jean shopping with my friend and we hold each other accountable. We're like, oh my gosh, I love how this jean looks, but like maybe it doesn't hip fit right in like the waist or the hips or the thighs. It's a no. Like if it's not 100% where you want it to be, don't spend your money on that. And if you don't feel 100% great in it, don't spend your money on that. Life is too short to be spending money on things that make us uncomfortable or fit ourselves into clothes that don't make us feel good or we're waiting to wear them till we look good or feel good. None of that. All right, hope you enjoyed. I'm very passionate about a lot of things in life, but jeans is one of them. Once you find jeans that fit you well, you don't go back. All right, I have a happy hour I have to get to. This is gonna be the fit. It's almost summertime shy, people. All right. Now instead of this door, we'll head out that door. I have to go. Oh, before I go, please don't forget to like this video. Comment down below where you find your favorite jeans or where you found your perfect jeans or what you hate about jeans. I can also hate about jeans as well. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss anything from yours truly. Turn on bell notifications so you get a notice every single time I upload. And then follow me on Instagram where I post a lot of behind the scenes and just overshare my life quite a little bit. And I think that's it. No more annoying plugs. We'll see you next week.